Ren featuring Eden Nash Humble. Let's get it. Where does Red be getting his features from? Yo, so we got Chinchilla, and then we got Eden Nash. You know that one song where it's like, oh, um, I'll give my, uh, uh, to, all I want to do is and take your money. Why does this Eden Nash give me that sort of vibe? You feel me? I tried to make friends with my pain because my pain keeps me humble. Uh, 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 boy, that is some, that is some of the realest shit, the deepest shit. For example, right? What I do is like, I've learned how to use like comedy, right? So like when we talk about something that makes me completely uncomfortable, sometimes I might try to slip a joke into like soften the blow of when I got to say it. You know, we all got to... Cause, Cause you gotta, we've learned how to laugh at the pain. You know what I'm saying? Cause they say if you, once we, you ain't able to laugh anymore, we won't be able to keep fighting it. But I'm gonna keep laughing, but you feel me? You feel me? You feel me? We're going to some deep shit. My pain gives me Try to make friends with my pain, cause my pain gives me hunger. Yeah. Whoa, oh, oh. Whoa, oh, oh. Slow and release, let the air expand your lungs, let your body bring you peace to the sea. To the sea, I will speak down my troubles to- Hold on, fun now. Okay, everybody. Ren over here doing some good sh- Not Ren, eating Nash right now, but doing something great for the universe. Let's all take a deep breath together, because even gangsters can do a little what? Yoga, a little kinesthetics, a little breathing. Let's get it. And then we want you to. Then we want you to exhale. It's all right. Just breathe in the bullshit. Exhale, you know, like. Bring you peace to the sea. To the sea, I will speak down my troubles to the waves as they wash my soul clean. Won't you purge me, purge me? Here as I stand, down in the gallows, my darkness will hang. Yo, she's got bars down in the gallows. My she has bars. She has such a great, like, delivery. Like, because she is a singer, right? But she's playing with a lot of syllables. And, like, there's a lot, a lot to her lyrics. And I think that's... I love uh, uh, Chinchilla for that, too. It's like, you write with a respect for writing. You don't do the bubble gum. You don't do the... Because with singing... You're using your voice as the instrument, and it's so easy to lean on that, that you can fall away from things that you need a little better writing for. But when, if you were ever to mix both, like, listen to the beautiful Miss Lauren Hill, and I can't, I can't put you on that, that list yet, Eden Nash, the first time I ever heard you chill, but... Lauren be singing, hitting them notes, but it's bars to the point where people like, if you listen to the miseducation of Lauren Hill, you would consider that a rap album, right? But like, there's only like four songs where she's just straight out rapping, you know what I mean? And that's just like, she has so much bars, but I gotta give Eden Nash, you got bars, short, go ahead. Eden Nash, Eden Nash can come through to the, you know what I'm saying, come through to the, we can do a little freestyle session, we'll have Eden Nash in there, she'll be, uh, 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 Wait, is that nigga whose voice? Is that a friend? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who, whose voice is that? Firm in my ground, I will not move an inch. 
Is this Eden Nash? If the, whoever this is right now, what you have just delivered with your voice as it's in such a different range of if that's Eden Nash, damn you got range, shorty. If that's red, damn you got range, shorty. What the who is this? Talk. It's Ren? Oh, stop. Stop, bro. Oh, my, uh, uh, everything on Jeez. I thought that was something else. I was like, nigga, is that even that? I, did, I couldn't tell, but it was so distinctly different than her. But I'm like, this, I have not heard Ren ever deliver in this pocket. And it's like so high and it's like super animated. You can just feel the pain. But this is again like a pop song, but it's about becoming, becoming used to the pain it's about learning how to play through it and and you just gives you breathing techniques and all kinds of positive vibes and all kinds of positive shit it's like because that's what you learn man if you've hurt a lot in this life it's not that queso thinks he is above feelings i just have felt bad feelings before more than i would like to have and I know a lot more, I have a lot more to come, but I don't wish people that on people. I wish people the moments in life that I have that are bliss. I don't, I don't, you don't want the go in the court. You don't want to go in the court for your homie. You don't want the, the, the few, you don't want all that. Why would I wish that on you? And so when you listen to a nigga like this with, where it's like, okay, you've been through some shit, but you have genuine hope and faith and it's like it's beautiful because i might not have that and i'm and a record like this might give it to me and it talks about becoming used to your pain so you can't be pushed and swayed and moved so you're strong because i'm telling you man that's the best alternative in this life we can all saw we can all soak in our sorrows and niggas go through shit and you might need to soak but strength, strength, find the strength. Even when you don't want to, that's strength, right? That's what it's about. That's what it's always, it's why we respect Kobe, God damn it. And then just, again, he's doing such great syllable play. You know, when you do do a sample, sorry, I said a sample. When you do do a feature where it's two artists, especially two artists that are great writers where... I, I don't know Eden Nash's cat catalog, but based off of how she sounded in her verse, I can tell she's good at writing songs and Ren didn't just write her shit for her. So there's a way you mirror each other and go down sort of similar pockets of sound, similar ranges, so similar flow, similar stuff like that. So that it, it creates a, a, a symmetry on the record. So as I listen to one end and I ride through one end, by the time I get to the second end, it, it, it matches what they were able to do with even just the little things, speeding up here, slowing down there, riding here. You know what I'm saying? And it makes me even the delivery of the voice in the beginning of Rens. It's just, they did a great job of making the song symmetrical on both ends. And sometimes, sometimes I'll enjoy like a contrast too. Like that isn't the only way for something to be good, right? But they did a great job in it. But like sometimes you will enjoy the contrast. Hold on. Wait, what that nigga just say? Hold on, Ren be trying to get into his bust the bus. And I really need some healing because I f wait. And I really need some healing because I find it hard to breathe in and I'm bleeding. Bleeding all my Take feelings to you. Mm. <laughs> that nigga snapped a little bit. Okay, right. Like I'm about to turn it back around. Flip it like a kick, flip it, switch 
chocolate ballad Coming with the style that's rude So Ren usually performs like outside based off of what I've seen, but does this nigga do shows like with like a lineup with like opening acts with like some of, you know what I'm saying? Some of these niggas see or in females and, and, and stuff that he works with. I wonder if he ever did. Does he? Tell me. Tell me now. Drop in the comments right now, nigga. You think I'm playing with you? Does he do shows? Or does he not do shows? Because I feel like this would be a good ass time. This is definitely where I catch myself next to the white girl, her shirt off. She done gave me the XO. I'm off the XO tour life bussing. Bussing off a chigger. She done passed me the drum. I'm in the club. I'm when I'm ready to rumble. Oh, oh, oh. I got Jamaican dreads on. I don't know where I got them from at this sweaty ass festival. Yeah, that's that's sort of I feel like that could be a good rent concert. Go! And no, bro, this is such a strong guy. Give me. I think Eden Nash might be my soulmate, and I've never even seen her, but I just. Your energy. God damn, because my nigga Ran can get it. He can be a sad, mopey, some bitch sometimes. You really can. But Jesus, this the strength and and I'm you too, Ram, right? The strength in this song is just beautiful, man. It's just dope. It's why I didn't like this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it's so like, man, you 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 preaching a message of giving up. And even and I don't think even if that even if that isn't what you were getting at, I feel like a lot of your fans just have a lot of context that the rest of us don't have, right? But as somebody who's interested in what you got going on, bro, I hear this, nigga. I wake up, maybe, bro, It's we have battles every day. Just getting out of bed tough for a nigga this morning, right? What if you throw this bitch on? Stronger, you know what I'm saying? Nigga feeling like Tookie now. Let him know. Nobody but me, baby. What this nigga say? He say bubble like the champagne is hard to explain. He's using his the left side of his bra. Hold on, man. Taking control of the brains of being the lord in the land of my brain and I loosen the chains that are causing the pain Put a stain on my name with the face that me say make it rain down the rain down the rain down the chains and I rise at the top like a bubble champagne It's so hard to explain it to use my left brain I am switching the left And this snick top about popping the box of champagne and even I love that simile The simile was hot cause we be popping the bottles in the club <laughs> Roller coaster, I'm a poster child bipolar, loner with the smoking motor, soldier with the broken holster. Focus, mm. don't go down and smoke, then choke on mm. coke and overdose. Just stand your ground, stay home. And, and even now, it's like, even then, that gives that because this song is not him sulking. This song is the the this song is how Ren actually feels, and nobody can convince me. I'm sorry. I'm gonna bu burst the bubble for everybody. Artists like NF, sometimes you rent. I know you do be sad, but you are an incredibly resilient man. You are a you are an incredibly smart man. You are a to just make it to the point of success that you have. I'm not saying that just to be successful and stuff makes you happy, but you know what you're doing, right? This is so much, this, you give this such a different context when this is your triumph. Because now you're saying, look at me. Even with all of these scars and things that quote unquote might be wrong or off with me. Nigga, I'm still, you can't, can't nobody push me and I'm still gonna make it. Why can't we tell people that? 
Why can't you tell people that they can make it? And why can't people understand that? Why do I even have to explain that to some people? Why do I have to explain to you that I don't think that somebody who reaches 2.4 million people, and I know the power of music and words. Why do I have to explain to you why I wouldn't want that person preaching an easy way out? Are you guys dumb? For the niggas who are dumb, right? But this is how you do it. You, it, it's just if you, if you. Man, context is king, you know? Context is king. Roller coaster, I'm a poster child bipolar, loner with the smoking motor, soldier with the broken holster. Talk Focus your shit, man! Choke on coke and overdose, just stand your ground, stay humble, proud, and lucky like a four leaf clover. It's so just, it just don't, don't, don't. Just stand your ground, be proud of who you are. You are a perfect creation. Don't let nobody tell you differently. Especially not to get you a little more invested because those of us who might be emotionally damaged might connect and relate to things that, you know, you know, you know, nigga put it on a t-shirt for you sometimes. Uh-oh. I swear I can't even tell this nigga's British right here. I ain't even gonna hold you. That was a like <laughs> uh -oh -oh. Yo, that was a banger. I think this is like my second favorite Rand song. That's a certified vibe check. Here come another reaction by me right here. Bow, music video. Buy me right there. Bow, click on it. Show me some love. And if you watch this video as long as you hit the thumbs up button, you're a host. Stop being a host. Can't be the family. Love y'all. Salute. I am gone.